In this video, we will show you how to install a turnout motor into a C-Track turnout. This is a fairly basic install, but we found out that a lot of customers uh, do not like the instructions. And so hopefully with showing this on a video, it will make it easier for you. The only tools needed are a couple of small screwdrivers, a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. The thing to do is to set your turnout to straight and get the turnout motor and you have to hook that little eye onto the little lip that is by my thumb. It's a little bit difficult to see but we'll zoom into it here in a second. And then you slide the motor in place like I do here and it should fit perfectly. There's the little lip onto which the motor needs to hook onto. And that little piece may disappear if the turnout is not set to straight. So make sure that it is set to straight so that you can see it. There's my first screw hole. It aligns nicely. And there's the second screw hole. So now it becomes a matter of grabbing the two tiny little screws that came in the package with the 74491. And they're actually Phillips screws. So you will need a small Phillips screwdriver. The big light gray piece that you see covering the mechanism is a piece that you want to leave in place. If you pop that off, all kinds of little parts will fall out and it will become difficult to put the uh, turnout back together. The good news is you do not have to remove it and you should not remove it. Here I put the second screw in. You're screwing into plastic so you want to make them tight but not overly tight. And now you can see I can actually move the mechanism a little bit with the screwdriver. And you see it seems to be working in both directions. Time to discuss the wiring. On this particular turnout we have also installed the turnout lantern. And that's the green little thing you see up there. It comes with the standard yellow and brown wires that Merklin uses for the lighting circuits. You can run these yellow and brown wire to your existing lighting circuit on your layout. And then we have the turnout motor. It comes with one yellow wire and two blue wires. And what I've done here is already attached the three plugs to the wires. Yellow goes to yellow, of course and one red goes to one of the blue wires and the green goes to the other blue wire. Green to set the turnout straight and red to set the turnout to the curved position. We'll use the control box 72710. You can connect up to four turnouts using the same Merklin plugs. And on the side you can feed it with power from your transformer, your power supply. Four turnouts, or so four sets of buttons, green to set your turnout straight, and red to set it to the curved position. Alright, we're going to look at a schematic to see how this is working. Don't run away. You have your power supply. Here we're using an old Merklin transformer, and we'll use the brown and the yellow outlet, which give a constant 16 or 18 volts AC power. The yellow is connected to the turnout motor and the brown is connected to the side of our control box 72710. What happens when you push one of the buttons is that the power will run through the magnets and come back through the blue and in this case the red plug because the red button is what you pushed and it will set the turnout to curve. If you push the green button power will run through the yellow through the magnet and now it will go through the other wire, the wire with the green plug, through your control box and through the brown back to the transformer. That's how the magnets get powered in turnout. As you can see there's a position number two and a position number three and finally a position number four for three more turnouts. Then there's a side plug and an additional 72710 can simply be slid on on the right side.
All right, here I made the connections to the control box and you see that big black and the big red alligator clips. Those are just the uh, transformer leads. Uh, here in the studio, I did not have the uh, regular plugs. So this is how I got the power from the transformer. Now, if we uh, run the little car, you see it's going straight across. And if I push the button, it's going curved. And as you noticed, the green light is on and I push the green button, which really means that these two plugs are reversed. It's not a big problem. All we do is we switch the two plugs on the two blue wires. So I got my little flathead screwdriver, undo the plugs and simply uh, switch them around. It's the problem you have with the two blue wires Initially, you do not know which one should be connected to the green plug and which one should be connected to the red plug. So sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Here, I just switch the green plug to the other blue wire. Tighten it back up. And put the red plug on the other blue wire. red plug goes into the first outlet and the green plug goes into the second outlet. If you had more turnouts it would be again red then green, red then green and red then green. Now it's time to test it. We set it to green that should be straight and if I push the red it goes to curve. Okay green straight, yep the car runs straight, push it to red and the car goes through the curve. We used the crossing in this example, but installing a turnout motor and connecting it is exactly the same for a regular turnout and also for a curved turnout. We showed you how to install a turnout motor into a C-Track turnout and how to wire it to a control box. If you have any questions, visit us online at www.ajckits.com or drop us an email.